Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff. If you're a Christian entrepreneur like me, you know how important it is to build our businesses on the foundation of God's word. That's why I wrote my new devotional, Navigating Entrepreneurship Through the Lens of Scripture, a 30-day journey for Christian entrepreneurs. And I wanted to let you know that it's now available on Amazon. And you can also check it out at navigatingbiblicalentrepreneurship.com forward slash devotional. How do kingdom printers do business God's way? What does faith in business really look like? What strategies and mindsets are required to grow your business and fulfill your God-given purpose? Those are the questions this podcast will answer. My name is Jeff Elder, and welcome to Business God's Way. Hello, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you are well, whatever you're doing. Hope your week has been amazing since the last time we have checked in on each other. Today I want to talk about the importance of celebrating wins in our business. The importance of celebrating wins in our business. I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like, am I actually making progress in my business? Am I making progress? We spend a lot of time and a lot of energy trying to build and grow our business. And often, I think, We wonder, at least I wonder, have I made any progress whatsoever? And if so, what kind of progress have I made? And what I've realized is there's one missing ingredient to this. This is something that I've learned pretty recently It is the key that I believe will help us be able to recognize the progress that we're making. Because I think we're all making progress. I just think sometimes it's it's hard for us to recognize the progress that we're making. And this is where this whole idea of celebrating our wins comes into play. How many of you actually take the time to celebrate those wins in your business? How many of you actually stop and maybe write down what those wins were or pause long enough to reflect on the wins that you've had in business? Ever since I have started making this more of a practice in my business, the more that I've taken time to actually stop, recognize the wins, I've been able to actually see that I am making progress. I am moving forward. You see, when we fail to recognize the things that we're doing and we stop and celebrate those things, it's going to be a lot harder for us to recognize the progress that we are actually making. And this is so important that in my Call to Impact group coaching program, the first thing we do before we get into any of the other meat of the coaching is we will go around and we will share Everybody's wins. Why do I do that? Well, I do that because I want to build a sense of community, of course. I want people to to encourage one another. I want everybody to know what everybody else is doing. I want to, to develop this community of support. And... We don't know how to support each other if we don't know what's going on, the good and or the bad. But another reason I do this is because it allows an opportunity 
for my students to verbalize those wins, to hear those wins, and then to be able to apply it to the question, have I really made any progress this week? And I like to use it as a time to remind them that that win that they just shared, it is progress. It is a sign of progress. And this is why it may seem more often than not that we're not making progress, right? We get into trials and difficulties in our business, right? Running a business is not easy. It's a lot of hard work. And especially when you get into these tough situations, these these hardships, these trials, these these setbacks, it makes seeing progress a lot harder. And if we're not stopping and taking the time to first recognize the wins, other than recognizing that those wins are actually progress, we will be facing what seems like an uphill battle. And so I wanted to encourage you guys in this episode to get into the practice of celebrating your wins so that the progress you are making in your business will become much, much more apparent. And so I encourage you, keep a journal. Maybe you have some accountability partners or, or somebody else in your life who really cares about what you're doing. Make it a practice to share these wins with them. But get into this practice of doing this. And I guarantee you that if you do, you will begin to notice. You will begin to notice that you are actually making progress. And that's what we all want to do in our business, right? We want to make progress. And so often we are making progress. Sometimes we just don't see it because we're not stopping ourselves and allowing us to celebrate those wins, those victories in our business. So I hope you take this challenge. I hope that you will take this challenge of learning how to celebrate your wins. And what I want to do right now is I want to give you an opportunity to tell me or share with me what some of those wins have been for you in your business lately. You can do this in two ways. You can either head over to Instagram and you can reach me over there at JLDRA and send me a DM. Share with me one of your wins. Or you can even email me at uh, jeff at jeffreyelder.com and, and go ahead and email me a list of your current wins because I want to celebrate those with you. I want to encourage you with those wins. So if you're up for that, I'd love to hear them. I would love to hear those wins because we're in this together. As, as kingdom printers, we are in this together. We are here to support and encourage and pray for one another because we want to do God's will when it comes to our business. We want to make a kingdom impact. So let's start celebrating our wins more often than we already are. And let us progress in a way that brings glory to the Lord. All right, that's what I have for you guys today. God bless you guys. I am praying for you. And as always, continue to do business God's way. Until next week, God bless. Mm-hmm.